reason I got into knife making may sound cliche, but a lot of it was due to the fact that I couldn't afford a high quality knife at the time. And then it morphed into something else. It morphed into wanting to be able to create the most perfect tool that I possibly could create and create a stout line of folding knives and fixed blades that could put up with any bit of abuse that you can throw at them. I think I've reached that goal and now at this point, I just want to refine what I have to make it that much better. I designed my knives in 3D parametric CAD. I initially started probably just like everyone else did with drawing on paper, but I discovered that at certain points I needed better tolerances, especially when I switched over to CNC machining. So switching to a 3D parametric CAD allowed me to maintain those tolerances that I needed. My faith affects my life and my knife making in a number of different ways. It allows me to pursue this goal of making the most perfect tool possible with the utmost confidence that I will succeed because I have faith in God that he will give me all the wisdom and the knowledge that I need because everything that I do, I do for him and through him. So that's why I put Psalm 23 on my knives. So my first series of knives were the A-series knives. Uh, it's where I became known for making folders. It was when I first got into it, I started with the A-10. A-10 is a three and a quarter inch blade. It was named after the A-10 Warthog airplane. I wanted something that was stout, something that could carry a heavy payload and put up with it. Um, so from there, I got a lot of requests for a larger blade. So I made a four inch blade and that was the A-15. From that point, I also got a lot of requests for a smaller knife, so I created the A8, which is very similar in size to the A10, but much more compact and scaled down with a three and a quarter inch blade. From the A10 series, I was very influenced after that by the Japanese culture and the Asian culture in general with their cutlery. So I created the Kwebak, which is a play on the name of Kwaken and Hoback. It's a very elegant knife, long and sweeping. It has a long, flat edge that comes out to a sweeping tanto. It was a very influential knife for me, coming from a martial arts background in the past, seeing samurai swords and the like. I've always wanted a folding knife that was something similar. My inspiration for that was definitely the Kwaken, and since then it has been one of my most popular knives. After this, we switched over to the OSF folder that is called the Open Source Folder. It is a three and a half inch blade. There will also be a three inch blade version. And it is a completely open source knife. I've designed the knife. It will be in CAD. The CAD files will also be open source. I can give them to anyone who asks for them. I just ask it's not for profit. The knife will have a work in progress video series along with a Word document or a PDF document to go along with it that shows you how to make the knife start to finish. I just want to say thank you to all of my customers first and foremost. I appreciate all of your business and all of your support. All of you that have contacted me and telling me thank you for my faith and putting scripture on the knives. I just want to say that I appreciate that very much. It gives me much drive to continue forward with this. We thank you for your business and your support and we just ask that you watch what we got coming out. <laughs>